Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us as ever is our black and red leather clad super villainess, Seraphis. Let's have a look what's on the menu for today. I think we've got ourselves some new quests. They're a little bit high, level 29. We've got First Frost or level 29 Hardcore, as in Hard Corpse. I think that's about it, apart from Bounties, Arenas, Legends, and Alerts. Let's have a look. Yep, looks like we're going to have to go in well above our head, but hey, that's normal with us. First Frost, let's have a look at this. Meet with Killer Frost in the Otisburg nightclub. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Killer Frost just called in for society backup from the tap room. I'm alerting Lex Luthor. If what's happening in Gotham is what I think it is, Lex is going to want in. Talk to Frost in the nightclub, and Lex will tap you when you're on site. Thank you, Calculator. As we fly over the epicness that is Gotham City with a Zeppelin in the background there. Can we see the full moon? Now let's get out of super speed so we can have a look around. Yeah, there it is. Ah, it's good to be home sometimes. Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed, and off we go. Getting near the end of the run here, level 27. It's not going to be long before we've hit a level cap. It all goes so quickly when we're playing DCUO, of course. And what do we got here? A couple of races by the looks of things. No, don't worry. I won't put you through the races. Not just yet, anyway. The Tap Room, North Burnley Nightclub. That's where we needed to go, according to the calculator. Frost. Now, this will be interesting because, of course, we've already done some Frost missions. Maybe this is a follow-up. Definitely haven't done any of these on Blaze Purple on the hero side, of course. So it will be interesting to see what they put in front of us. If we can navigate around without hitting walls. No, we can't. <laughs> One day I'll be able to fly around here with some grace and poise. Okay, Killer Frost. Okay, so Killer Frost is a different character. Okay. So obviously nothing to do with Mr. Freeze. There we go, showing my noobness in the DC universe. Feel a cold chill up your spine? For once, it's not me. We have bigger problems. Someone or something has reactivated the OMAC virus. It turns ordinary people into killer cyborgs, targeting anyone with skills or powers. We have to stop them before they stop us. Permanently. All right, Omax, I do remember that from Blaze Purple. Go to Gotham to continue your mission. What do we have to do? Let's have a look. I spy. Find Brother I drone incursion zone. Oh, okay. So this is the Brother I stuff. I remember running this with Roman Over. You guys might remember it too in an earlier DCU Online Let's Play episode with Blaze Purple on the hero side. It was lots of fun, if I remember rightly. And of course, at the time, we had to get Roman over to explain to us exactly who Brother I was, what the OMAX were about, because I had no clue. I'm probably no better off now, but I do have a little bit more of an understanding. All I do remember, it was uh, lots of fun. All right, so find Brother I Drone Incursion Zone. Okay. Let's have a look on the old map, see how far away we are. Oh, it's just around the corner. Nice and handy. As we scoot over Gotham City, here we go. We found it, and there's a quest over there. No doubt it'll this have something to do Luther, with all of this. We have oh, Lex. An opportunity. The OMAC virus is a deadly threat that must be met with equal force. But the mind deploying the OMAX is a valuable resource. It's called Brother Eye, and it's a downed satellite created by Batman to store data on superhuman threats. Information like that I could use. For now, take out the drones and steal their memory cores. Let's see what we can find. And there we go. There's a nice little briefing from Lex Luthor explaining exactly what Brother Eye is. Down satellite that was created by Batman. From Lex the horse's Luthor mouth. Sent me here the moment we heard Brother Eye drones were scanning the populace for superpowers. All right, so this guy can wants us to collect nanoprocessors from the, the drone, so it's all part and parcel of the same quest, and of course. Meanwhile, we get to get ourselves a nice little collectible to start off the episode. Data 0728. And the mouse spazzes out. There we go, collecting. Detecting unauthorized access to Brother Eye's location logs. That was the old nanoprocessors there. Now remember too that these guys are a whole level above us as well. 
so if we can do okay in here we're doing quite well for ourselves of course the single player story instance that will no doubt follow might well be a different story but these guys seem to be easy to knock off in the meantime thank goodness Doing the lunge after a rain of arrows, always a good combo. And that's got to be the worst sound effect ever. Urrah! Urrah! It sounds so convincing. Not. Oh dear, oh dear. And getting interrupted there as we try to collect the nano processes from our downed droid. Or rather the downed Please, probe, but fortunately they've got a nice long timer on them, so it doesn't matter too much. Gosh, there's lots of chitter chatter around this area in these quests. Going in with the lunge. Can we give it a sticky grenade? It doesn't look like we can. Oh, no, we can. It seemed to blow that guy up pretty f fast, pretty quickly. So maybe we can actually put a sticky drone on there. Uh, rather, a sticky mine on the drone. Alright, so what are we up to? 8 of 20 memory cores, 8 of 20 drones down, and 5 of 10 nanoprocessors. And of course, as always, combat on Seraphis with her bow and her gadgets feels fresh, fast, tactile. It's always a nice change coming from all the other MMOs that we're playing at the moment. Not that there's anything wrong with those, but this is a nice, refreshing uh, sort of console, console combat style getter, right, Sambo? Just to uh, mix things up. A lot of people in the comments say, hey, what's this like on PS3? Look, to be honest, I've never played it on the PlayStation. Uh, but I can tell you what, the combat style and the controls clearly built from the ground up to be console friendly. I'd imagine it being able to uh, hole up on the couch with a nice drink and a nice snack and be able to beat the uh, crapola out of villains or heroes from the comfort of your couch and a controller would go down very well with this game if you ever on the couch about which format you'd like to go for and you do like your console gaming. I'd imagine it would be uh, something I'd highly recommend. It would be lots of fun. Even better if you've got a nice big TV and a nice surround sound system because of course the sound in this game, apart from the R's, which we can hear at the moment, are always normally top notch. Come on, where you go. Sometimes I have difficulty dropping to the ground, like unflying. Just a little bit unresponsive. Please help me. Yeah, the voice actor around here is not their best work. Got to say that. I need your help. Right, one more. Oh, an OMAC Mark II. And this guy's level 28, he's definitely going to put up more resistance than the drones, I'd imagine. Help! Help! Right, we still need one nano processor to collect, and we're 15 out of 20 for the kill count. And there we go, one mission down. I Spy is all good. Let's have a look at the completed one. Where is it? You think they'd put it at the top of the list, but no. Drone Bones, there we go, 22 cash and 500 XP. Hardly seems worth it, does it? Oh well, fun to be had nevertheless. Give you a bit of a taser, some fear gas, let's see, see how they go against a mechanical foe. Just as good as always. Three more to go, let's see if we can find one. Oop, there's one we clearly left behind, its health is way down. It just didn't want to die, did it? Please help me. 
And for some reason I'm sort of stuck in place here. Oh no, we've had this before. I need your help. Please. Oh, it's horrible. Look, I'm obviously stuck between those mobs on the ground. This is just awful. Can't even use an AoE. Oh, oh there we go. And finally decided to let me loose. Gosh, I really hate that. That's happened quite a number of times in the game. Alright, 19 out of 20. One more to go. And yes, you'll do nicely. Locking onto the target there. Stunned. And a sticky grenade for you. The calculator will review those memory cores to see if we can retrieve anything valuable. But this is just scratching the surface of the information we may find. Alright, let's complete that quest. That was nice and easy, especially for such a high level quest. These brother Eye memory cores are encrypted in a Batman level code. It's like decoding a giant-sized Batman computer mind. Now there's a scary thought. Alright, says that we need to fry Brother Eye's drones as they target lightly subjects for the OMAC virus in Gotham's Otisburg neighborhood. We get ourselves a bit of a helmet here. Star we've already collected. We get ourselves 40 might extra. Extra 10 defense and 5 health. We do lose power and precision, but we might actually equip that because we always could do Lex with the defense. Luther speaking. The Omax are attacking super-powered heroes and villains in force near the Knights Dome Stadium. The Omax rather brilliantly adapt to any attack, so don't bother with the heroes there. There will be plenty of time for that when Brother Eye's information is in my hands. Alright, let's go to the old inventory here. Check out that helmet just one more time. Yep, defense and health. I mean, how much power do we have? We've got 1,202 power. We are going to lose 27 of it. You know what? I think we can handle that loss no problem. And here's Uncle Jingles. Got a sub-quest for us. Kid? Go pound on the Max and grab some of that cyber virus so the Joker scientists can take a look at it. Alright, so he you wants us to gather cyber virus samples from Brother Eye's drones. Obviously a symbiotic quest to what we're already doing. A bit of extra XP and a nice investigation or collectible for us here. Collectible as it turns out, and what is it? It is the Joker's card tricks not collected. Jolly good, two of five. And off we go. I quite like this area. It's a bit run down. You can see there's some... Uh, in fact, I remember when we were here with Blaze Purple. These guys were a bit tough, if I remember right. So it might be time to use the Gauss Grenade, I think. Oh, and that's fire. Okay, we need to get the heck out of here because she's a world boss. Yikes. We do not want to be messing with her, that's for sure. Well, that looks like she's on to us. Oh, no. No, I thought it was too good to be true. Seemed like we were getting away with it then, but oh, no. She was just getting tied up with another Omax there. And as soon as she was done with that, of course, she decided to come back to us because we got her aggro. Whoopsie. Alright, let's try that again, see if we can stay away from her. That's nasty having her in the quest area. Good lord. Alright, how far away did it port us? Just a little way across town, a couple of blocks. Not too bad. It's that building out there in the distance that we need to get to. So once again, we're reviving super-powered villains and we're assaulting Omax. 25 Omax and 10 revivals of the super villains. So it shouldn't be too tough. Taser pull. Oh, and we got pulled away then, actually, or rather pushed away. There we go. Now, we need to find these ones that we need to revive as well. <laughs> and we're rooted in midair there. Give them a bit of a sticky grenade. Should clean them off nicely. Bit of fear gas. Never goes astray. And we were getting knocked back there, so time to do a rain of arrows over and over. Let's see if we can put a dent in this guy, and we did jolly good. Cyber virus contained, uh, wait a minute, obtained cyber virus samples, 5 of 10. So we're doing well on those as well. Lock them down with the old taser, follow up with the fear gas. 
Always a deadly combo. There's a super powered villain. I think we have to let these guys get knocked out. If I remember right when Blaze Purple and I were here, there we go. Knocked out. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't count for the quest. Of course, if we kill the Omax too fast, they don't get to knock out the super villain and we can't do the quest. So there's one of ten. All right now, keeping a lookout, of course, for fire. We don't want to come across her again. All right, now we need to find. Oh, there's an Omac. If there's a super villain there, oh, there's one, a downed one over there, actually. Nice and handy. Whoa! I've got a funny feeling that's fire doing that to me. I hope not. No, it was just the Omac. Thank goodness. And here's a couple of downed super powered villains for us. Nice of you to be downed for us. Alright, gas grenade. Making a nice dent. And remember, of course, folks, these guys are an entire level above us, so we're definitely doing quite well. And we seem to be grounded. Here we go, we got one of the quests sorted already. Alright, super powered hero there. Let's get them knocked out. And we'll use the old gauss grenade. Make a bit of a dent because it's starting to get tough when there's more than one of them. Killer Frost, hello Killer Frost, fancy you being here. Ouch, that hurt. Sticky grenade for you, taser pull. There we go. And I don't think we need any more super... Oh, we do. Three of ten. Going in for the long lunge there. Always a nice uh, attack to gain distance. And can we... Yes, that did count, thank goodness. Four of ten. Boy, the respawn rate here is so fast as well. Oh, actually, we want the super-powered hero to go down. Oh, and it didn't count. That's interesting. Not sure what the criteria is there for it to count. Oh, there's one. Lovely. So we've got 22 out of 25 Omax assaulted and 5 out of 10 down superheroes. There's another one. Handy, handy, handy. Oops. Helps if there's not a pole in the way. 6 out of 10. Hello, Killer Frost. And another one there. Things going well, although, of course, that's always famous last words. Seven out of ten, so three more of those and two more Omax assaulted. Alright, who is that? I'm not sure who that is. Alright, come on, super powered villain and get knocked out. Lovely, thank you very much. And just waiting for one more there. Stop. Yep. Oh, that didn't count again either. I wonder why. Maybe it's because we weren't quite around when they got knocked out. Maybe we weren't in the vicinity. Doesn't matter. There's another one. One more of those and we're done. Time for a gas grenade. And that cleaned them up. We're certainly doing relatively well I'd say normally when we go into a quest that's a little high for us we get our rear handed to us on a plate but not this time and we're yeah gosh we're already only two bars away from leveling to level 28 so this is going very fast we're getting a lot of XP
Right now, we really want this superhero to get knocked out because that's what we're after. One more of those. And it didn't count again. Interesting. Let's bring out the old battle droid to up our DPS. Health's getting a lot lower than we want it to be. Lucky we got a drink in there. And probably lucky also that our battle drone was up. Alright, now here's a super hero. We want you to get... Get out of the way. We want you to get knocked out, please. He got knocked out, but didn't count again. Oh, well, we stunned and we got knocked out ourselves. Dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, so close. One to go. Nine out of ten. Nearly there. And as I said, two bars away from leveling. We're getting so close to the level cap now. And there's some good old epic Gotham City music. Explore the Burnley District. Look at that. We got ourselves an achievement. Explore the Burnley District in Gotham. Haven't had an achievement for a while. So many of them to do. So many that we won't be able to do because the population is so low. And of course, we're really looking forward to the server mergers. They're calling it the super server that's going to end up. And of course, that means we're going to have the feeling of a lot more people uh, you know, on the server. And it's going to feel a lot more populated. We're going to be able to do alerts and uh, instances and all the rest of it that we just simply can't do at the moment because there's nobody around. There we go. Finish that off. Let's get out of harm's way. J for our journal. OMAC attack. Heroes and villains working together. It's enough to give you hope for humanity. <laughs> oh, I like that will last. Exactly. It looks like we get ourselves a nice little bow there. Clearly Superman and the JLA failed miserably in exterminating Brother Eye the last time he acted up. Since an EMP burst will disrupt the OMAX, I've duplicated the units Batman used the first time and had LexCorp airdrop them in. Use them to take out the OMAX. Then see if any data remains in the humans left behind. All right, let's check out that bow that we got. It gives us a lot more DPS, less health, less precision, but more power and more might. Definitely want to uh, hang on to that one, that's for sure. Where our gear's a little damaged, unfortunately. Please help me out. This is my first gig for Lex Gather Lord. EMP cores for a technician in the Gotham's Otisburg neighborhood and gives us some gloves. Yes, we'll take that. And we need to retrieve data from OMAC remains and disable OMAX. And of course, the first thing we need to do is get the collectible. Oh, can we? Yes, no. No, we can't. Damn you. Gosh, this. They're crawling all over us. And these guys are definitely a lot tougher than the ones we just uh, were attacking before. Here we are retrieving the data from the OMAC remains. What the heck? That was weird. Seemed to have a table and umbrella spawn on us. Okay. Very weird. Data 0825. OMAC Directive 1. Monitor and curtain. OMAC Directive 2. Ensure the speed of distance of Brother Eye satellite. Right, so I'm not sure that was it. Maybe have been retrieving. No, it wasn't retrieving data. It was maybe disabling OMAX at what, what those crates were, perhaps. Yikes! Getting attacked from all sides. Time for a gas grenade there. Knock him back. And it looks like we've got a citizen aggroed on us for some reason. That was weird. Whoa! That was really fast. Not sure what happened there. Wasn't watching. Gosh. 
we got knocked to the ground so quickly and all of our health stripped away. No good, Sambo. Up, up and away. Right, how far away is the quest zone? Oh, it seems to be getting further and further away. Time for just a little bit more, uh, make a bit more of a dent in this quest before we wrap up this episode. As we race our way towards level 29, look at that, well rather level 28, we're only half of a XP bar away from leveling to 28. It really is going fast, gosh they, it's almost as if they've uh, increased the XP rate or something, I certainly don't remember it ever being this quick, but uh, oh well we're not complaining, that's for sure. Hello Omac, we're about to give you a bit of a headache. And we're also going to give you a sticky grenade just because we like you. Yeah, we managed to pull that off without getting interrupted. That's nice. Wow, they have such a long range on their beam, and there's so many of them. I wish they'd stop respawning so fast. God, it's crazy. And there's another one. So of course what's happening is the citizens are getting knocked out of the OMAC suit effectively because they're inside. If you remember from our earlier Blaze Purple episode and Roman over explaining to us what was going on. Oh, a blue Killer Frost. This is Luther. I know you're not bright, so I'll make it simple. The society wants your report on Brother Eye's mysterious reactivation. Now that computer brain holds all of Batman's data on superpowered humans around the globe. Ah! And own that data or destroy it. So do it. They're out. All right, 10 of 20 remains, uh, rather data from the remains, and 11 of 20 disabled. Gauss grenade just to get them all off our back. It's looking a bit dicey for us. Quick drink. All right, lots of nice quest items here for us to collect the remains. Oh, why can I not target things ever? <laughs> oh, it's like the bane, pardon me, bane of my life trying to target things in DCU. And rooted in mid-air, of course, with the good old ice. Thanks for that. You will pay with your life. That's right. All right, four more mob, uh, four more Emacs, Omax rather, to be disabled. There's one and five more uh, data by the looks of things. Wow, they've really ganged up on us now. And don't tell me that's another one. grabbing them before they disappear. Alright, who is that? And look at that, there we go, we are now level 28. Congratulations to us. And we just need one more remains to be gathered. And of course that very handily healed us to full health. 
can't complain about that. But how fast was that? Gosh, we just reached level 28 so very quickly. And of course, yes, we earned ourselves another power point there. Jolly nice. And <clears throat> no doubt we've probably got ourselves another quest in the log has come up. Uh, empty parts, that looks... No? What's that? Recover EMP cores in Gotham's Otisburg neighbourhood. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I would have thought we were already collecting them in the quests that we're doing, but apparently not. Right, what have we here? Oh, hang on, let's get rid of this OMAC first. Oh gosh, how many are there? Come on! Oh, annoying! Just die already, and as for you, you need to die as well. That's right, that's what you get. Alright, now, what are these things here? If I can target one. Ah, they're the EMP cores, radio. Um, where's the quest that we've finished? Oh good, data from the OMAC victims. I do love me some data. This will give us something to use against Oracle. And, uh, Brother I, of course. Oh, not again. How have they got such a long range? Goodness Since sake. Since the deactivated OMACs are a blank, you must face Brother I himself to gain his data. He's squatting in the sewers and using the tunnels to deploy his OMAX. Only multiple EMPs will take down his shielding, so I'm sending in Killer Frost. She'll give you a device to use on junction boxes down below. Alright, so we did manage to get ourselves some loot in there, and it's a star that we've not collected, so we'll definitely take that. Um, Although I'd rather have the defense, to be honest, so we'll stick with the old ones. And look at that, we're already two bars into level 28. Can you believe it? Uh, let's select the... Is it this one here? Yep, we'll activate this quest here, because we want to finish that off before we go carrying on into Brother Eye's lair. Yep, so we need to collect these, but of course we'll need to do that at the beginning of our next episode. We may finish that off and then head into Brother Eye's Lair. We've run out of time for this episode, so I certainly hope you enjoyed the beginnings of this Brother Eye storyline. Thank you very much for joining us, and of course hope you join us in the next one. More importantly, hope you're having a great day, and until next time, it's me, Sambo, and Seraphis saying take care, we'll see you later, and bye-bye.